Hey, hello, and welcome to a new TikTok hair fail reaction video. What a long title is that? Hey, that's it. I'm reacting on TikTok hair fails, and every time I see something wrong, and on TikTok there are many, many, many things wrong. So many of you are also seeing my shorts, and I want to thank you. There are some shorts that are blowing up, and some of them are saying yes, I seen this video before on your channel. Yes, my YouTube shorts are really my normal videos like TikTok hair fails or my normal videos. I cut them, I make them vertically because the one likes shorts and another one likes normal videos. So I'm trying to make all kinds of videos. So you are having one video that you really, really, really like and you learn from. So this is the whole point of this channel. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on TikTok. Okay, so I am so over the blue, so today I'm going to strip it out. I know what you're thinking, you're crazy, Bonnie, what are you going to do? But it's okay, I got my information from YouTube. She said she was a professional hairstylist, and I believed her because I watched her do it, and it worked. Basically what she used was 10 volume peroxide, a box of baking soda, a small box, like a 500 gram box, some dish soap, box of, or a box, a bottle of purple shampoo, and you're gonna mix that up into a good con So a real hairdressers are making this kind of mixture with this baking soda? I tested it. Yes, it lifts a little bit. Why? It's not because of the baking soda, it's because you actually putting some peroxide in your mixture. You can mix 10 volumes or 20 volumes, 30 volumes with, with, I don't care what. It's the peroxide that will lift. It's not the baking soda. <sighs> A bleach wash is so much better. It goes faster and it's so much better, but you have to mix it correctly. 20 volumes, shampoo, hot water. So you mix it and then you apply it on the parts, not everywhere, but on the parts that you want to have removed these pigments, unwanted pigments like blue or purple. But these blue pigments or purple pigments, really hard to get out, really hard. But hey, let's see. She didn't measure, she went by consistency. This is what I get for never measuring my food and never telling you that. Payback. So it's kind of like this runny consistency. Now I'm just gonna put this in my hair and wait 30 minutes, she said. Say goodbye to the blue, I want my blonde back. Definitely gonna have to come back for a part two because this is taking so long. <laughs> okay, part two. So I found my husband's barbecue bottle <laughs> and I'm gonna use it to squeeze it all over my hair. It's gonna be great. Oh, he will be happy next time he grabs the bottle to have a nice barbecue. There will be bleach in it. Oh, not bleach. Baking soda. Mm. Oh yeah, this is really a great idea. I'm really glad I'm doing this. Ow. Now supposedly this is supposed to like not mess up the integrity of your hair and disclaimer, it only works or supposed to work for temporary semi-permanent hair colors that you put in your hair like I did. So We'll see what happens. 30 minutes. A very own lunch table in the darkest corner of the cheap fluorescent lights and by the trash cans. I know. It's perfect. You look disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> look at her face. My palms are sweating. So the only reason I'm documenting this is to show myself later on in life how dumb I was. So, as you can see, baking soda and dishwashing liquid and volume, whatever, <laughs> so now I'm about to color oops my hair. Another great idea. This should really help. I saw a video of someone saying that color oops doesn't work on blue hair and then someone else, several other else's were like, yes it does if you buy the extra strength that works. <laughs> so it says this has to sit on my head for at most 20 minutes and then I have to rinse it out for 20 minutes. Who has time for this? I don't have enough snacks to hold these kids over that long. 
It's really important if you use color oops that you rinse long, long, long time because these pigments are broken and they need to be rinsed. It's not if you rinse it five minutes, it's completely gone. You have to rinse it a long, long time. Long time. Did a bad thing. I'm gonna regret this thing I did. I've got like five more minutes and it's still green. I'm just gonna sit myself down here in this confession chair. Okay, ready. I've just come to terms with the fact that I'm going to have green blue with some yellow hair. There's just nothing I can do about it. I need to learn patience because clearly I have none. I'm going to have to leave my hair curly for the next 10 years. I also need to stop listening to the internet because it's all a lie. If you all could please stop tagging Brad Mondo, I'd appreciate it. That is the most humiliating thing ever if I wind up being duetted by him. Mostly because I know everyone in the comments is going to be like, she's such an idiot. And I can't take that kind of humiliation. One day I will learn to stop Daddy. experimenting Daddy. on... Yes! He's fine. He just dropped his french fries. Okay. Anyway, here it is. This is the finished product. Is it, is it good? Okay, this is it. This is the last and final attempt. You want another attempt. What are you doing now? Vitamin C treatment. Head and shoulders, a little bit of dish soap, and some vitamin C. Oh my God, so it said I needed four packs, and four packs is all I have left. Why trying all these YouTube, TikTok mixtures? Just do a bleach wash and you should be okay in like 30 minutes if you do it correctly. Now you are spending a whole day with all these new mixtures and at the end of the day, you still have blue, maybe green hair. <sighs> you said you don't have patience. Well, I think you have a lot of patience. How much time did that take? All these kind of mixtures, all these kind of techniques. I don't say a bleach wash is 100% successful because these blue pigments are really, really, really hard to get out. But hey, I don't have blue hair. I don't want to have blue hair. It's meant to be. This is it. This is it. Oh, I'm all right. You will me. I said enough. 10 hours. 10 hours. Imagine that we are doing that in the salon. Imagine the price. It's impossible. Do bleach wash. Do a bleach wash. Hi guys, so I have rainbow hair and I don't like it anymore, so I'm bleaching it. This is me bleaching it. Now it's a little bit yellow, so I got, went in and bleached it again. I got some bleach in my eye. Oh shit. Ew. I'm so stupid. But I'm not blind, it's fine. I continued sectioning. Putting on the bleach, making sure I get it on every strand because I don't want my hair to be yellow. Wash it out. There we go. I added purple shampoo because I don't have toner and my hair's going purple anyway, so I just popped purple shampoo in, making sure to get every strand. Then I put it in the bleach and that was a genius idea, so this is me putting it on my head. And then I put more pebble shampoo on, making sure to get everywhere. And then I washed it out. And then, yeah, that was my face. And then I decided to go in with the purple dye mixed with conditioner so that it was a bit more pastel-y. I went in on the roots because that's what you're supposed to do first. Thank you, Brad Mondo. Then I went in purple shampoo on the ends because it was still looking a bit yellow. Oy. This is me with the purple shampoo washed out. Join me for part two where we see what color my hair is going to be. Is it purple? Well, I already said it was purple, so it's obviously going to be purple. Oh my God. What was that? If you don't want to have any yellow left in your hair, the only thing you can do is bleaching. A toner is not going to take your baby chicken yellow hair or maybe orange hair to white. It's not possible. Purple shampoo cannot do that. A toner cannot do that. So the only thing you can do is bleach it again and it will hurt. And maybe you will have blisters. The most important thing is if you have to remove all these colors and you want to go to white, bleach the length. Don't touch the roots because the roots are going so fast. You don't have to worry about that. But stay one centimeter from 
the scalp so you don't hurt yourself and then you can bleach 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 until you have pale yellow white hair if you are thinking there is a chance that i have to bleach it more than once just do the lengths don't bleach your scalp over and over and over again you will burn yourself very heavily i seen bad things with burnt scalps it's really bad so the stuff that they got us isn't working <laughs> i'm gonna cry and so I have to just buy bleach and it's gonna take like a week to get. <laughs> so I'm gonna have my hair like this for a week. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, Adrian. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> no. Was that a split dye? But it's not so obvious. I don't know what happened. Clearly she has a mental breakdown now. She's crying. Many, many, many of these girls are saying, oh, it's only hair, hair grows. But when the camera is off, they have a mental breakdown. You have to go walk on the street with that hair, broken hair, with orange hair, with patchy hair. Everybody's looking. <laughs> I had one clip, I don't know which hair fell that was, but that was so funny. That girl was really strong, mentally very strong, and she said, you know what? If you noticed my hair fell, it's because you are staring. I found that hilarious and kind of true. <laughs> but sometimes it's so obvious, you don't have to stare. You see it right away. Yes, as a hairdresser, I always see it right away. I cannot go on the street and look at people's hair. It's a thing for me. Oh, that's a bad haircut. Oh, that's a bad color. Or, oh, this is nice. And if I see a nice haircut of a nice color, sometimes I ask, can I take a picture? I'm a hairdresser. Have you learned from this video? Have you been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kiss.